Hello, boot campers. It is Casual Friday here at my Radius Bob virtual home office. So get your fanciest pajamas on and let's see how to be as professional for your leads and your clients as you can possibly be using the screen share option in Radius and also the client portal, which is another way that you can share information. So get your cup of coffee and let's dive in. We have a built-in feature for screen sharing in Radius. If you go into the leader of the client's file, so long as you've got an email address for them, you can send a screen share. It's a visual only one-way screen share. So if you hit start screen share, you'll be able to share your screen with them. So that does mean that you'll need to be on the phone with them, but it's a really easy experience for them to see your screen, which is really helpful. When you hit start screen share for the first time on your computer, you will need to download the app. So when that populates, when that little pop-up message comes up, you do need to accept the app and run it. It'll ask you to run that application and you must do that. If you don't get that pop-up message, you might need to enable your pop-ups within Radius Bob. So that's a browser setting. If you have any questions with that, just send us a question in the help app and let us know what browser you're using so that way we can help you. So I already have it downloaded on my program. So what I'll do is I'll hit start screen share. An email is sent to the person. You also can copy this URL and send it to somebody else. So if you're going to be doing maybe a three-way call with the carrier, you're able to send them this link so that they can join as well. And you'll see the number of viewers here. It is limited to the number of viewers, so um, you won't be able to do large meetings, but you're also going to need to be on the phone with these people. So therefore, I think it's that you've got up to five viewers allowed at the, on the same screen share. Here you can see that you can pause sharing or stop sharing. If I hit pause, it will allow me to resume and then I can stop. But let's see how the experience is for the leader, the client who's receiving that screen share request. If I go to my email, when I go to my email, I'll see that I have a screen share request. And this one is the most recent. I've been obviously testing this a little bit. So it says, please join me at my screen. And then I just hit that. And it's going to freak out because I'm sharing my screen with myself. But you can see that that's a the way that they would be able to see your screen. So all it is is that they're clicking on this link and then it's automatically sharing the screen. Stop sharing. If you need a video conferencing system or a larger group of people on a call, and also if you want to be able to share different people's screens, you might want to consider something like Uber Conference or zoomjoin.me. There are so many platforms now. We use Uber Conference, um, and that allows you to schedule meetings and have the, the video camera. Having a face presence is a nice thing right now, so a lot of people do like that. But this screen leap option is the one that is complementary to you within your Radius Bob account. Another function that can be helpful to you is our client portal. So let me see if this client has an attachment here. So if I enable client access, he will receive two emails. One is an encrypted portal email, and the second is an encrypted password to access that portal. If I view client access, I can see any documents that I've shared with him and his coverage details, etc. So this is what he would see on his end when he accesses his portal. So this is available for you to utilize to share documents, website links, and details. 
if they click on contact radius bob here then that would be the agent's name typically so that would allow them to hit this and launch an email to be sent to that agent you can delete client access at any time if you re-enable that client access a new portal link and password email will be sent to them if there are any files that you want to send to a client via the client access portal all you need to do is go and edit the file and choose if you want to enable that client access or not and update if I'm attaching a new file to their record and I wanted to say um, screenshot of quote I'd enable client access and upload the file it says 10 megabytes per file it's actually 20 megabytes per file you're allowed unlimited storage for the number of files that you have within radius but each file is restricted to a maximum of 20 megabytes per file so now I've got these two files that have been enabled for client access and if I click again on enable client access and view now I see that example and the screenshot document that I had added in it is important in drips to keep that client access link and password email you can edit the template so that way it says whatever you want it to say but um, the important aspect is to not delete the access link so this is necessary um, this is how they're going to access that link so other than the client access password snippet and the client access link snippet you can edit everything except for the template names do not change those because the system needs those for sending accurately so again just a quick overview in drips you can edit the templates for the client access password and link but do not change the template name and do not change the snippets for the link and the password. All right, that's it, you guys. Quick and easy. Have a beautiful weekend and keep us posted on your questions. <laughs>